Hyperloop trains are prepping to run people edge to edge in tremendous speeds, making itself quite the competition for other modes of transportation, including high speed trains, as well as aviation. To legitimize this goal, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has introduced a whole new deal, the Hyperport. Welcome to TechSpot. While most of the Hyperloop development has far been in and around the sphere of passenger transportation, Hyperloop's TT Port Logistics System has designed and developed the model of Hyperport to transport cargo from place to place at unbelievable speeds. To develop the superspeeder, the company has spent around 20,000 hours in alliance with Hamburger Hoffen und Logistik AG of Germany. The leading European port and transport logistics company, Hamburger Hoffen und Logistics AG, HHLA, boasts a strong network of container terminals in Hamburg, Odessa, Thailand, and Trieste. HHLA embodies a digital hub and excellent logistics, and alongside a futuristic transport flows. Its business model is based on innovative technologies, and the best thing about it is its commitment to sustainability. Talking about sustainability, Hyperloop TT is a glorious signatory of United Nations Global Compact, indicating the company's commitment to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Hyperloop TT is undoubtedly an impressive transportation and technology company focused on acknowledging the Hyperloop A system that drives both people and goods safely, efficiently, and sustainably. Hyperloop TT is building a fresh form of transportation through the use of distinctive, patented technology and a progressive collaboration business model. Back in 2018, Hyperloop TT uncovered Quantero 1, a first full-scale passenger Hyperloop capsule, five years after the company was founded in 2013. While the Hyperloop was extracted out of Robert H. Goddard's VAC train concept in 1904, the latest attempts to bring the concept into reality and commercialize the high-speed pod transportation was kick-started by Elon Musk, popularly known as the CEO of the American automotive giant Tesla, when he conveyed his thoughts and ideas on establishing the fifth mode of transport, named Hyperloop, at a conference in California in 2012. Recently, Musk's The Boring Company inaugurated the preliminary three passenger stations in its loop transportation system in Vegas. Unlike other formulated Hyperloop system, it uses Tesla's electric vehicles to carry passengers underground at speeds up to 100 miles per hour. Hyperport freight capsules are designed by award-winning Madrid-based Mormidi, with the purpose of uplifting cargo transportation mechanism using the Hyperloop technology. Hyperport concept lays down sustainable high-speed cargo and freight solution, which is capable of enhancing capacity and efficiency while also keeping population and congestion at check. It would reportedly be constructed inland and would connect with roads so as to drive cargo from a Hyperloop port to the town, much within the same way as a rail freight cargo. This new system is assessed to give the airplane speed at the price of freight cost and serve the rising concept of same-day deliveries. Being potentially two or three times faster than high-speed rail and having 10 times the speed of regular rail service. It is also more energy efficient as the track doesn't need to supply power to the pods continuously. Such outstanding speeds makes it very well in sync with the changing consumer demand and the fact that the pods can leave every 30 seconds makes it an on-demand service. Designed to be constructed to current industry standards, the new concept is a plug-and-play solution for port operators who are capable of transporting container-sized cargo hundreds of miles away from the matter of minutes. It will be able to effortlessly move 2,800 containers per day at speeds up to 327 miles per hour. Pushing this kind of technology forward, 
Hyperloop TT has already pulled in some pretty decent funding and employs more than 800 people across many offices in North and South America, Europe, and the Middle East. It has already developed a 32 meter long, full-size prototype passenger capsule starring the company's own sensor-embedded vibranium carbon fiber skin and Indertruck Meg Lev technology. Using the same underlining technology as our passenger systems, the Hyperport can future-proof supply chains while returning valuable seaside real estate back to the surrounding communities, says Andre de Leon, CEO of Hyperloop TT. As the concept is quicker and cheaper to lay out as compared to traditional high-speed rail, it can also operate in order to take the pressure off the roads, making intercity travel easier and potentially unlocking major economic benefits as a result. Check out our latest video on the Hyperloop and Maglev train to know more. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. The Hyperport Freight Capsule is unveiled in a recently released video which illustrates the first look at the transformative possibilities of the new form and balanced and improved logistics. As mentioned earlier, the collaboration depicts over thousands of detailed engineering hours that includes laying out the concept, analyzing the models, calculating the facts, trade-off studies, 3D models, overall design optimization, and other integrations. Presently, the Hyperport capsule's substructure and system components are going through optimization in preparation for commercial implementation. The development of Hyperport urges to add container shipping logistics into the combination. With freight capsules designed to open at the top and accept either two standard 6 meter shipping containers or one double length 12 to 13.7 meter unit. Dropped in and picked up by an equivalent kinds of Granty Crane that already load and unload container ships. Freight speeds would be limited to around 965 kilometers an hour, 600 miles per hour. So either the passenger pods would need to lessen the present speed also, or separate tracks would be needed. In other Hyperloop projects, the form of cargo movement has been through unit load devices, ULD, like pallets. By creating a 5.6 meter diameter tube to move containers straight from a container terminal, this project enhances the business case further for ports. This vision also utilizes the prevailing port infrastructure through cranes to haul containers into the system, which should bring down the costs for ports. Power will be induced by integrated solar panels, further establishing an eco-friendly concept. By launching a Hyperloop container system, a port could remake the future of logistics. Good news is that the Hyperport concept is all set for installation from the angles of engineering and operations, unfolding the exquisite logical dynamic for ports. It's all very fascinating and futuristic, and Hyperloop TT says it has designed everything to meet current industrial standards and catch up with trends and demands. The Hyperport is now submitted for certification design review, and according to the company, the next step will be a VR demonstration in October 2021. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.